Hi there YouTubers, just a final video regarding the SGI Octane before I put it away again and get another toy out to play with. I just wanted to show you the Octane running the very latest browser that is available for IRIX. This machine it's running 6.5.30, that's the version of IRIX, it's the very latest build that uh, SGI did. And this is the very latest build of Firefox that someone has kindly taken the trouble to put together. If I just double click on the link on the desktop it will start to start the program up and here it comes. So it starts up quite quickly. We have a look at the version of the software. It's version 3.0.19 so although it's the very latest version for Irix it's still an old version of the software. Now let's have a look at a few websites and see if the Octane is still usable for browsing the internet. Let's have a look at eBay. Now bear in mind that this machine is using the 600 MHz processor so it's the fastest one available for the Octane. We come up with the link quite quickly. We click on the link and we go into eBay. <coughs> Comes up pretty quickly. Let's do a search in eBay for items. Let's have a search for Octane and see what it comes up with. Now things start slowing down a bit. Octane booster. Let's uh, let's refine the search. SGI Octane. Press enter. It should come up with some familiar looking SGI parts and there you have it, there they are. So it looks quite nice, the 16 bit colour depth on the desktop, 1920 by 1280 resolution, it's more than enough desktop area to browse. The images look okay, not quite as good as a 32 bit desktop but they're, they're okay. It's a bit, sho it's a bit choppy. Um, scrolling the display but it's just about usable but believe me it will start to slow down if I just click on a, a link for an item you can see I've clicked there's a delay you can see how much slower this is than a, than a modern machine but yeah I'd say I'd say eBay is usable let's have a look at a bigger website Daily Mail website Popular, popular newspaper in my country, the UK. So let's search for that, and uh, there's the link for it there. Click on the link. This is a big web page, one of the most highly viewed web pages in the world. Loads of images, tons of. Uh, news that they dredge up every day sort of depressing news they put on and um, there's today's news this is probably in the cache of the machine because I was looking at this earlier so it would possibly be quite a bit slower loading that main page um, normally I'm not going to click on any of the links to the articles because believe me it will grind to a halt because there's adverts and flash um, videos in these links that um, in these articles that really upset the browser and cause the poor old Octane to grind to a halt. If we have a look at the Neko-chan website, a vital website for SGI fans, good forum, good place to find information and, Im and images of SGI stuff so it's come up quickly click onto a link to the forum that comes up pretty quickly so for a simpler sort of older um, type of websites the, the SGI is pretty capable but um, in over overview of it um, I'd say it's it's not really capable of uh, web browsing effectively anymore and I'd say speed wise I'm very sorry to say this 
but it's probably about as fast as a Raspberry Pi when it comes to web browsing so that's a very sad thing to say but the my beloved SGI the um, absolute in my view the the best design computer ever made I don't think it'll ever be beaten in in regard to its physical design the design of its uh, hardware and the design of the case and the way it cools all the components and the way it's so compact I don't think it'll ever ever be beaten in that regard because let's face it who buys 50,000 100,000 pound desktop computers these days nobody so there's never going to be as much money to uh, spend on the hardware as SGI had in the day um, so yeah I'm sorry to say it's about as fast as a Raspberry Pi now when it comes to web browsing and probably not even as effective because you, you can get um, a more up to date web browser to run on the Raspberry Pi so it's a shame but um, it's going to go back on, onto the shelf now and uh, I just wanted you to see um, the reality of it really and, uh, and that's it okay thanks talk to you again bye now